So I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while now. Ever since, really, YouTube Rewind 2018, something that's been on my mind has always been YouTube Rewind for this year, 2019. And in my opinion, you probably already know the story of YouTube Rewind 2018 and how it was just a complete catastrophe. But in my opinion, if YouTube Rewind 2019 goes well, it might be the most impactful YouTube Rewind ever. And it might be one of YouTube's biggest events because this could be like a turning point for them. It could show everyone that they actually are listening, but at the same time, it could do the exact opposite. And it could show everyone that even though they said that they're going to change, nothing really changed. And honestly, we don't really know for sure which way it's going to go. It could go in a way that YouTube Rewind 2019 is going to be more what the people want and not what the advertisers want, but at the same time, it could be like vice versa. So in this video, I wanted to talk about what I think would make YouTube Rewind 2019 good for the creators because everything that I'm going to list off can still have ads on it because that is ultimately like that's never going to change. That is still YouTube's main goal with YouTube Rewinds, no matter what they say. You could say that back in 2011 or 2015 that it was more about the creators, but now you cannot you cannot disagree that YouTube only really makes it just so that they can have a lot of big icons for advertisers to spend their money on. That's why YouTube Rewind 2018 didn't really have that much stuff related to actually what was going on in YouTube. Nothing that was really important. And this list is things that did happen in 2019 so far, because we're only halfway through at this point, and should be included and still meet that criteria. So I guess without further ado, let's get into this. But Something I should mention though, is that if you have your own ideas of what should be in YouTube Room on 2019, feel free to let me know in the comments because that would be interesting to hear your thoughts on that. But anyway, let's get into this. Okay, so YouTube Rewind 2019. There's a lot of things that have happened already in 2019, even though we're just over the halfway point that YouTube should include. Now, I don't know if they're gonna include all of this, but we'll see. So starting off with memorials, I think that this is very crucial and I feel like a lot of people would love this. I know some people have already talked about it before and it's definitely not an original idea, but I think that YouTube should do it. But at the same time, they didn't do it last year for people like Avisi who died. So some of the biggest names on YouTube that have passed away in the last six months are Etika, so Desmond and Mofa, you've probably heard about that. And actually, just a few days ago, Grant Thompson, who was like, I personally never did watch his channel, The King of Random, but he was a very large YouTuber. So I do feel like YouTube should, at the very least, make a memorial for him, as well as Etika, because I feel like a lot of people would also love that, including myself. Because these are very influential YouTubers of this year who passed away. So it will just seem really weird if YouTube doesn't. But... As for some YouTubers like Etika, it may not happen because, of course, Etika wasn't the most advertiser-friendly channel, but they still should at least have Etika somewhere, like, as a memorial or tribute in the rewinds. But, of course, we'll have to see about that. So, but, of course, we'll have to see. I can't really confirm anything. Now, next thing I'm sure a lot of people can agree on is that YouTube should include PewDiePie somewhere in 2019. It's pretty obvious that PewDiePie is actually pretty soon going to cross 100 million subscribers, so he's going to become the very first YouTuber to pass 100 million subscribers. That's like a tenth of a billion people. And, well, of course T-Series did it, but like the first real individual to do it, that's going to be huge for YouTube. And even though they haven't included him in the last two ones, I feel like he's made it up to them, and I feel like YouTube can include them without risking advertisers and all that. Plus, this is sort of like a side thing, and this leads into another point I'm gonna make, but Minecraft is kinda coming back, and you can really just say that PewDiePie is spearheading it right now. So if they are gonna have some reference to Minecraft making a sort of recession in this rewind, then PewDiePie has to be there, because, like I said, he's sort of leading the charge here. The next thing is not to include as many celebrities, not like YouTubers who like, not, okay, it's hard to explain, but like people who aren't YouTubers, or maybe they are YouTubers, but they're more on the celebrity side. For example, yeah, I guess Will Smith does count as a YouTuber, but 
not really sort of more of a celebrity and same in youtube rewind 2016 when they had the rock come in for some reason like the rock isn't even a youtuber he's just a famous person like you might as well just put in donald trump and kim jong-un if you're going at this pace but i digress i mean like for real it's not really that likely that they're just gonna remove a lot of the really influential people who aren't youtubers i mean it's not really something that really hurts rewind but when you include more celebrities and give them more time on like on the screen than normal youtubers well sometimes at least on the rewinds it's a little bit just it just makes you look really kind of scummy because you're just showing people just for advertisers to spend their money on you're not actually showing really the people who made YouTube what it is today. And sure, they do show some of those people, but they don't show enough of it, I think, for YouTube. This isn't like the internet rewind. This is just YouTube. But anyway, moving on. I'm sure everyone can agree on this, but I really do not think also that YouTube should include that much of Fortnite in YouTube Rewind 2019. At the very least, it should be a much smaller part than it was in 2018. It was ba basically YouTube Rewind 2018, like... I'd say maybe two-thirds of it had to do with Fortnite somehow, at least it seemed like that. And yeah, it makes sense why they did it, because Fortnite was really huge in 2018, but at this point, Fortnite isn't as popular anymore, so I feel like they should tone it down at the very least, but if it's the same thing, if YouTube makes 2019 the same thing as 2018 when it comes to the Fortnite inclusion, then yeah, people are gonna hate that. So for the past two-ish years, YouTube has included famous memes of that year or even years past in their rewinds. In 2017, I remember they had All Star. In 2018, they had a lot. They had Baby Shark. They had like, they had basically every meme. But the problem with memes is that they get outdated. And when they get outdated, people find them cringy. And when you, and I guess that's sort of like the point of rewind is that supposed to be like a look back. But the idea doesn't really hold up that well when you're showing memes from like, January or February that's just extremely unfunny. I know PewDiePie did this in his YouTube Rewind 2019 or I know PewDiePie kind of did this in his YouTube Rewind 2018 but it's actually a good video like his remake or his take on YouTube Rewind of that year and it was it was kind of cringy I'm not gonna lie but still YouTube may include like a reference to like who knows they at this point they can include Area 51 somehow or maybe even like fucking Big Chungus or something like that. A really old and unfunny meme. And if they're gonna do that, then they might as well just include like the troll face and like, I don't know, Doge and I don't know, John Cena. Basically extremely cringy and unfunny memes if they're actually gonna go that route. There's no saving YouTube Rewind 2019 if they have a whole bunch of really unfunny memes in it, but I digress. Anyway, there are some smaller things too that they can include. Like, I feel like something that they are gonna include is the first real picture of a black hole. I feel like that would be something that they could sort of monetize, I guess, and rewind or add like some cool effects to that. And that's sort of what makes YouTube rewind like sort of, it's not just about YouTube, it's just about in general. Cause I remember in 2017, they included like the whole eclipse thing and they had like fidget spinners. Like that's not exclusive to YouTube. That's like the entire internet and pop culture basically. And I don't really feel like YouTube should go too much into the whole pop culture side. They should a little, but I feel like they should mostly focus on what made YouTube YouTube this year, not what made the internet the internet this year. Okay, so that's everything on my list, but if you have your own ideas of what could be included in YouTube Rewind, please let me know in the comments. I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure to share this on social media. And as always, see you.